Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today we're going to be harvesting ourselves some yarrow and making ourselves some yarrow tincture. As you can see, I'm out here in this lovely little clearing in the middle of the woods, and you guys might remember this spot from the video I did a little bit ago about foraging plants for a skin wash. So I'm back in the same spot today. There is a lot of yarrow here, and we're going to be collecting ourselves some yarrow. And in this whole field, I've counted at least 100 yarrow plants, so I know this is a really good spot to forage. Just like in the wash video, all we need to do to harvest our yarrow is just grab and pull. And here we can see what we're working with. This is a really good sized yarrow plant with a whole lot of these leaves and flowers on top. This is exactly what we want here. So I'm going to pick myself a few more of these guys, and then we can head home and make our tincture. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five yarrow plants, and this is going to be enough to make a lot of tincture. Just like with the wash, this stuff is extremely potent. Now that we've got our yarrow, let's go home and make ourselves some tincture. Now you can see all these yarrow plants that we just collected earlier, and you can see how I cut them up a little bit. That just makes them a little easier to wash off, because they are rather large. Um, you know, some of these were like almost three and a half feet tall, so it wasn't going to fit in my sink very well. So I just went ahead and cut them up a little bit. Now that we've got them rinsed off, we're going to take some more paper towels and lay that directly on top. So we're just going to set this right on top like here. And we're going to press this down and we want these to be completely dry. The reason we want it to be dry so that way there's no water in our tincture. You can see these very, very fine leaves, and these guys really do hold a lot of water, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to give these guys a few minutes here to dry up, and I'll get back to you. Okay, now once we've got our yarrow fully dried off, we just need to get ourselves a couple of more things. We need to get ourselves a clean mason jar with the lid and the top, and we need to get ourselves some 40% alcohol. I normally use vodka. But you can also use Everclear for this, or you can use Moonshine if that's your uh, preferred extractant of choice. The alcohol here is going to be our extractant. And this is going to extract all the medicinal qualities of our yarrow. Now what we need to do is we need to take our yarrow and we just want to pick off these flowers and all of the good leaves that we see here. You can leave some of this stem. Now, some of you guys may remember in my wash video, I did use a lot of the stem. I don't include a lot of stem in my yarrow tincture, and that's just simply because I don't find it makes much of a difference personally. If you want to include it, you very well can. Another thing I want to mention is that you can use your yarrow fresh or dried. I prefer using mine fresh, but some people like it dried. It's not going to make a lot of difference whether you use it fresh or dried though, at least in my experience. So if you prefer it dried, use it dried. If you prefer it fresh like I do, use it fresh just like this. Right there you can see that little bitty black spot. That's one of the things that we definitely want to make sure that we don't include in our tincture. So I'm just going to pick the flowers and the leaves, all the good leaves, off of here and I'm going to put them right into our mason jar right here. Right here we can see all the yarrow leaves and flowers that we had shucked off of our yarrow stems. And we're just going to simply cut these up a little bit or macerate them. I prefer to use a pair of scissors and just simply cut them up. This is going to help, uh, basically help extract more of the medicinal qualities and medicinal chemicals that we're going for from this herb. Now once we have our yarrow cut up really nice, we can see this here. And once you cut this up, you're going to get an extremely floral flavor, a very strong, astringent, herbal, florally flavor and smell coming off of these guys, it's absolutely phenomenal. We're just going to take all this and we're just going to drop it right into our jar. Okay, now you can see what we have right here. This is our yarrow in our jar. Now you may see all these little bitty fine particulates right here. Those are going to be strained out whenever we actually jar our tincture, which is going to happen in a few weeks. I'm not going to show that on video because I've already done a video on how to jar tinctures. And this process is the exact same no matter what. So I will put a link in the description down below for any of you guys who want to see that video on how to actually jar up these tinctures once we've got this part done. Now all we need to do is we need to take our 40% alcohol and we just want to cover this.
Okay, now right here we can see what we have here. And all we need to do is just make sure we shake this up really, really good. Um, if you're going to do this process before you put the lid on it, make sure you don't spill anything. See how I'm kind of swirling it around just a little bit? This kind of helps to agitate it and helps really extract more of those medicinal qualities and chemicals that we're actually going for here. Okay, there we go. Grab our lid. We put that bad mamma jamma on there. Swirl it around really good here. Just swirl it around really nice. Once we have that done, just put a label on it. Um, I actually don't have any labels right now, so I just made do with a piece of paper and some duct tape. Um, but any way you can label this to let you know what day you put this on, because now we need to set this in a dark, cool spot for up to eight weeks. Now, every other day or so, give it a good shake while it's sitting there for that eight weeks. And then after that time period, you can jar this up. So that's how you guys can make your own yarrow tincture. This stuff is extremely easy to make. I thank all of you guys for watching this video and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.